Hey, how you doing? I am in Philly, downtown Philly, about to speak tomorrow at the Pennsylvania Convention Center for IPD seminars. And my talk was the gold medal mindset for the championship life. However, uh, in my room, I want to talk about this because I talked about engagement and stories. At least that's what's written here for this video. I just wanted to show you guys something. There you go. That is an office building. And if you look closely, all of those windows look the same. Bunch of desks, bunch of computers, and there's people in those offices. Now, studies show that only 33% of America's workforce force, excuse me, is engaged. Greg Frederick, who'll be speaking tomorrow, that's what he said. So that means 77% of people who go to work are not engaged with their work. In every one of those windows, there's a story. There's a story in every one of those windows. Every one of those people have a life, hopefully a passion, but have a life full of ups, downs, and everything in between. But if 77% of the percent of the people are not engaged, my question is what are they engaged in? What are they engaged with? My hope is that they're doing something, if their work is not their passion, that they're doing something that pays for that passion. But the question is, we all have a story. We all have a story. And what, what side of it are you on? Are you on the engagement side or are you on the disengaged side? Are you in or are you out? Those are the questions I ask people. Those are the questions I want to know. Are you in on your life or are you out? Are you participating or are you watching? That's no judgment on these people here. For all I know, they could have the most fulfilling life ever. But if studies show that only 33% are engaged at work and we spend 8 to 10 hours a, of our life a day, or 8 to 10 hours a day in our lives at work, what's the point? What the hell is the point? So, business, sport, and life. At some point, they converge. And I think a lot of us play the field separately. A lot of us approach work, and that's one thing. We approach sport, that's another thing. And then we approach life, right? We'll wait to be happy. We'll work until we're 67, and then we'll retire. And then we'll enjoy our life. Does that look enjoyable? I'm not saying people don't enjoy themselves in there. I'm just asking, does that look enjoyable? I don't know. I hope it is for them. I hope it is for them. But I can tell you, I can tell you, based on my life, based on my experiences, based on what I've learned about what goes on in here, that there is a better way. I am certain there is a better way. And there are people that live that way. There's hundreds and thousands of people that live that way. Having it all, in my opinion, is possible. And by the way, it is not just for the rich. It is not just for the 1%. Having it all, you can have it all at almost almost any price point. The question is, are you willing to change your thinking? Are you willing to change your thinking about what's possible? Are you willing to change your thinking about what you're capable of? Are you willing to change your thinking about others? Those are the questions. So are you in or are you out? What story are you telling yourself about your life and what's possible for you? 
Are you engaged or are you not? Because I'm pretty certain that at some point, some of these people in this building interviewed for a job, got the job, and they were excited. It was all they hoped for. It was their dream. They were able to pay their bills. Maybe they got a raise. They were able to do their thing. Honey, I'm home from work. I'm bringing home the bacon. And I'm also certain there's some people in that building that they pull up to work and they're like, oh, damn. Here we go again. So the question is, what happens in between the point when you actually get the gig to here we go again? And if that, if you're asking yourself, here we go again when you pull up to work, if you're asking yourself, here we go again when you pull in your driveway from home, if you're looking at your guts asking yourself, what happened to me? If you walk up the stairs and you're breathing hard and you're saying, I remember when I used to be in shape. If your bank account is not exactly where you'd like it to be or you're stressed about paying for your kid's college. I'm not going to blame here. I'm just saying, okay, time to change thinking about possibility. Time to change thinking about self. Time to change thinking about others. That's what it's time for. So the question is, in or out? Engaged or not? What story are you telling yourself? I go on tomorrow. IPD seminar, super excited about that. Here at the Pennsylvania Convention Center. If you are in the area, please come through, private message me. Um, love to see ya. And uh, as you know, I love you guys. Let's have a conversation and uh, I will see you in the near future, drjasonrichardson.com or at real Dr. J. Rich on Twitter and Instagram. Be good, take care, and in or out. <laughs>